Hello everybody, it's Everalt Level 4 for the weekly update. Uh, a few things. First of all, as you can probably tell, it's Monday. Um, because the first part of the holiday went until Sunday night, I decided instead of rushing to make a nighttime weekly update video and then rushing to get today's Final Fantasy X, uh, since my schedule is you know more flexible, I'm just pushing everything off a day. So Monday is weekly update. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday are going to be Final Fantasy X videos. Uh, so yeah. Uh, as for other things, uh, the first part of the holiday did go well. Um, we had my brother and his family over. Um, it was nice, the Seder night uh, for Pesach. I uh, hope everyone out there who's celebrating had a good start to your Yantiv. Um, if you're celebrating Easter, I hope you had a good holiday as well. Um, and uh, otherwise, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, let's see, this past week... This past week was interesting. Um, I had to take another extended break from Discord because for some reason Discord is just an anxiety trigger for me. Like, it could be a perfectly innocuous conversation and I just stress anxiety everything. Like, not even a conversation I'm part of. So, yeah, I was mostly absent from Discord before the holiday. <laughs> On the holiday, obviously, not using electronics. Um, but uh, those days were very productive for me, so I think it worked out. Um, let's see. I beat all of the things that there are to beat in Kirby's and the Forgotten Land. I just need to get all of the collectibles, like the random gacha collectibles now, uh, to 100% it. But uh, yeah. Uh, that game, I'm giving at least a 9 or 9.5. Excellent. Absolutely excellent game. Um, all of the little side modes and every, everything gives you a reward that is used towards completion. Like, even the little mini-games. And uh, it's great. It's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Obviously the most important thing. Uh, I set a tentative date for my spinal surgery last week. Um, May 17th, so that is provided that we get insurance to work with it. Last time, because of the way that the laws changed in New Jersey, between New Jersey and, and Pennsylvania, where my hospital is in Philadelphia, um, we had to check into the emergency room there as an emergency and um, have the surgery after that. So it was a whole long process and it was really annoying we're hoping that we won't have to go around things this time but uh if we do we do but um yeah tentatively may 17th so if you all could just send good vibes that a i make it till there because i would really like that um and uh b that uh that is when it actually happens and it's not later than that because later than that would be difficult for me. Um, this past week, Gilbert Gottfried passed away, which uh, I didn't realize that he was sick, but that's that's really sad. What a heckin' voice. What a, what a human. I don't know if they're, like, there's some people that, like, um, uh, in like Kingdom Hearts, uh, you have you had Leonard Nimoy um, like doing some of the voices uh, or a voice I should say. Uh, when he passed away, it was taken up by the guy who does like Captain Hook and uh, Corey Burton, um, and Corey Burton also is like the uh, 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 what's his name, Sir Christopher Lee voices also for the those characters and and like count dooku and stuff so like he he has like a big like voice range like he's able to to imitate a lot of like the voice actors but like gilbert Gottfried had a, such a unique voice it wasn't just a voice that like you could have someone sound like him it's either like it was him or you try to kill yourself trying to to imitate him um so i don't know what they're going to do for I mean, for Kingdom Hearts, obviously, for Iago, but, like, any anything else. But, uh, man, uh, a legend. An absolute legend. I'm very sorry to hear that. And obviously, because he was young, too, he was, he was 66. 
um, or something like that. So, yeah, sorry to hear that. Um, I had a bunch of art. I'll show I'll show off art at the end of this. We did we actually got a bunch of art done this week too, which I'm happy about. Um, did a couple of the uh, commissions. Um, I've been playing more Great Ace Attorney. I'm in the fifth case of the first game. Um, such a great game. Like every time I turn it on, it's just like, oh man, this is great. This is even getting this is getting even better. I love it. So yeah, I'm playing it in small chunks. Like every time I get to a would you like to save thing, that's why I, when I end the session generally, because I'm also playing it at night. So. Um, Let's see, Miss A started doing uh, Donkey Kong Country, which is great. Uh, what else? What else, what else? I got picture prints, we'll go over those too. Um, my friend Juniebug had her VTuber debut, so that was cool. Um, did I put that in? I don't think I put that in. And, and yeah, we had Passover. We had Pesach. So, um, and not much, like, happened last week outside of other things. Um, did I put that in? I didn't. Okay. Oh, because I, yeah, I did that on the iPad. Okay. So, so for the stupid drawings, uh, you know, let's go back a little. We'll go to the beginning of, um, or a week or so ago. So I did, I don't think I showed these off, but, uh, he's doing Zoroark, uh, sketch. I just like how this came out. Um, I really like he's doing Zoroark a lot. Um, this was the first commission of the month. Uh, it was for Elphalin. But I put Kirby in there and I made like a painted thing. I don't know if I showed these off, but I'm showing them off anyway. Just they're they're available. But yeah, I really like how that one came out. Uh, this is uh, OC of uh, fur girl named Tracy for um, BLT General, uh, commissioned by Mooch. I really like how that came out. Also, actually, those are both like actually really quick to do. Uh, for Chuck Conroy's birthday, I did a Melia drawing. I really like how this came out also, considering it, I did it in like 30 minutes. Um, there's an Ambrosa. Yeah, whatever. This is the safe, safer work version of the Arbosa drawing. You could see, you could see the white balance going. Um, but yeah, there is a not safer work version on a different account. Um, so this... Uh, Proto John was playing uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, and at one point you're like, you're fighting a bunch of ghosts that are just reading newspapers, so you just like rip the newspapers out of their hands and beat them up, so John just said, Luigi hates literacy. So I made this comic of him ripping up a newspaper or a book or whatever and pits just, oh, I don't want to learn to read. It's a multi-tiered joke because Pitt can't read, and it's one of his things in Smash Bros as he's flying into the background. I never learned to read! Um, next thing is uh, for uh, Mr. Movies of uh, Prespice Zack and Prespice Tycho in a more casual attire. A uh, nice red polo shirt and khaki pants and a braided belt. Um, and uh, so this is actually supposed to be a two-part piece, but I thought it would just be easier to do both parts at once. Um, a, I had the time, and B, it was um, just the way I was drawing it, it was going to be easier than like cutting it in half and waiting a month. And I don't know what next month is going to be for me, so I may as well get that done now, right? Uh, the next uh, piece uh, for Mika was uh, Clara in pajamas holding coffee. So this is Clara as a morning person, my OC. Um, when her hair isn't like braided, it's kind of frizzy, especially in the morning, so it's kind of tried to represent it there. She's got the highlights there, which is where the yellow comes from. Um, but yeah, 
I really like her expression because it's pretty much how I look in the morning too. <laughs> Uh, and the last thing is um, also uh, Mika's buff uh, workout Rosa John design. I just really liked it, so I wanted to sketch that too. And I think that came out nicely as well. Uh, and the last thing that I did that's not on the Twitter moments, I need to actually pull it up here, um, was a little doodle for um, Junie's... Uh, VTuber debut, so that's her her uh, VTuber design. It's Genie Bun. Uh, so yeah, and that was uh, that was that. Um, and the last thing uh, got art prints. So we have um, the uh, the Marianne. I don't know like which of these. You know, I'm just gonna put the the spectator. So this is the Marianne that I did last month. These are from like late February to mid March, I want to say. Uh, but yeah, that was um, from the open commissions time. This is the Fue Coco eating beefaroo. Uh, this is the um, one that Brett had. A lot of these are just cut off because it's uh, the four by three is not the same aspect ratio as the uh, eight by tens. But that's fine. I. I have, uh, this is just as a, like, a reminder that I've done a thing. I have the digital versions. Um, this is the Jenna Commission, uh, the Jenna and the Flareon Design Commission. Um, this is the uh, Zach in the HEV Suit uh, Commission. This is just a stupid thing of um, one million dollars for uh, uh, TRG Coliseum. This is uh, my famous okay, so basically I'm a very small picture. Got a lot of traction. This is uh, Fue Coco in the car seat. <laughs> this is the um, Sprigatito Cthulhu design. It was from Disc Only. This is the um, my version of the drawing of the painting that Steven was doing in Coliseum also. Uh, I also printed out this is uh, AC Fan did a, a commission for me of Clara. I really like it. Um, this was for Sandy, uh, and also commission. This commission was for Mika of our OCs. Um, this was uh, Massey as Adeline from Kirby 64. <laughs> this is from Chaz's birthday with the chanting and, and stuff. It's great. Um, this is for Steven's birthday of Rad with three Ds as uh, the Steve Buscemi meme. Um, this is a bunch of Kirby Johns. Um, himself, Jante, uh, Electron Gen, Pon Pon, and Rosa John. This is Luca as Lotus from uh, 999. This is uh, Paige's VTuber, Page of Heart, and this was um, uh, Superman Rosa, Superman 64 Rosa John. So, yeah, so those are the prints that I got. Thankfully, not a long talk this week, I guess. Um, but yeah, so once again, everything's just getting pushed off a day. So tomorrow will be Final Fantasy. Um, and uh, the end of the week, the last two days of the holiday are going to be Friday and Saturday. So it's going to be Thursday night. I'm going to be leaving again. I'm going to be coming back Saturday. And that's the end of Pesach. Um, and... Uh, the next, the next holiday is going to be six weeks after that, so we'll have a little little while before more holiday time. And th that holiday is short anyway. But um, yeah, I uh, hope you all had a good week. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Again, I've been, uh, I've just, just been having a lot of uh, bad mental days um so if i just start suddenly acting weird or disappear um for a few days it's because i just need to like completely disengage from a stimulus of some sort um just yeah just things aren't aren't balanced well so i need to um i need to uh to hard uh hard stop Force, force stop. There we go. That's what I was saying. Force stop certain processes uh, in order to uh, 
be able to reset. So um, I apologize if uh, I have been acting weird towards you in particular. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully I've been having dreams about getting the surgery. Like that's that's how much I'm thinking about. Like I'm dreaming about it and like post-surgical everything like i'm i'm fantasizing about it in my sleep so yeah um that's what i'm holding on to right now <laughs> uh so yeah again uh thank you for hanging in there thank you for being you and um yeah not necessarily like being good towards me but just being good towards the people around you um it's really important just to give people you know, a uh, benefit of the doubt because, man, we don't know what we're going through. It's uh, it's always it's always difficult to to balance benefit of the doubt with people running out of chances, and it's not mutually exclusive. You can give someone benefit of the doubt by while also not being a, um, a pushover. So, um, you know. It's always it's always a case by case basis, I guess. Um, but thank you for thinking about it at least. Uh, it's important. It's an important step to have that in your brain of not going straight for the throat, um, or it's you know at least a, a pause of should I be doing this? And if the answer is yes, then fine, that's good. Um, but as long as you have that little that little um, switch that you have to get past. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.